The Parks and Rec Department is asking for more funding next year. This new process gives counselors a head start on making decisions. On Tuesday, Tulsa resident Don Tidmore hit the basketball court. It's really been good to me, and I love it. I come out five days a week when I can, play about two hours. I really enjoy it. For years, he's been meeting up with his friends at the rec center at Whiteside Park to play ball. And what's more important than basketball to me is the camaraderie of all the guys. Well, there's a great bunch of guys out here, and I haven't made any better friends anywhere than I have right here. After shutting down several recreation centers about a year ago, the Parks and Rec Department is asking the city for a 2% increase this fiscal year. Whatever we are able to provide, we want to do it the best and the best quality that we can give the citizens. Our current park operating budget... On Tuesday, the city council heard straight from the department. Well, I think it's always a good thing when people know what you're asking for so they can have those discussions and figure out the priorities and, you know, hear from their constituents on what's important. This year, counselors decided not to wait for Mayor Dewey Bartlett's budget presentation to get briefed on budget needs. So I want to see what the stormwater manager needs to best do the job for South Tulsa, not what the mayor thinks he should have, so that we can make a good decision based on the facts. Councilor Bill Christensen says the change has nothing to do with council's disagreements with the mayor. It has nothing to do with that. It's just really, I think it's our way of just trying to be more efficient with the tax dollars we get. But it really has nothing to do with the mayor-council relationship at all. The mayor will give a presentation on this budget later this month. The council will review it and make changes by July 1st. In Midtown Tulsa, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.